Everybody, uh, thanks for watching PT Bubbles. This will be a slightly different video, uh, more of a cautionary tale for most of it. <clears throat> and I wanted to tell you about it in case you run into the same thing, or if it uh, is just a life lesson that anybody can learn from. So, a lot of this vi in this video, what I'm doing is taking an upgraded turbocharger that I got, which internally. This is a this is a standard TDL04. So the upgraded one that is has gone into the green machine. This fan um, intake uh, right here, where it connects to the exhaust manifold, is the same size. The internal fan, though, that you see in there is larger okay so it moves more air looking online one day i happened to find uh for pt cruiser with a turbo motor an oil and coolant line upgrade kit so the turbocharger on the pt cruiser has got uh oil that gets fed to it cools it off and it flows back to the engine block it also has antifreeze coolant that flows to it cools it off flows back to the the um, to the engine block so this new kit upgrades the uh, standard lines okay the this is one of the coolant lines okay it's all just metal metal solid line and there's where the banjo bolt goes into the turbocharger right there okay so this new kit replaced all of these metal kind of lines with braided steel like this okay so and uh and improved connections fittings all right um the braided steel is nice because it flexes and that's been made it a lot easier during reassembly to reach uh, into tight spaces where you can actually move you know a hose like this out of the way as opposed to a metal line so that's one thing that's been nice about it but here's what else is with that kit and why i was excited about it and why i got it the oil fittings or connections like this is one of the old oil lines right that goes into the top of the turbocharger um, and they're saying this kit um, has more restrictive oil holes so as not to overfill the turbo with oil and cause the common smoky turbo uh, issue that honestly I've never read about or seen but it's a thing so that's one of it and it uh, it prevents oil seeping past the turbo into the exhaust which of course is a bad thing you don't want oil getting in your exhaust and burning uh, and smelling and blowing out black smoke and all that second uh, the stainless steel that's the braided steel on the outside like this reinforced lines protect the inner tube there's uh, an inner plastic hard um, PTFE inner tubing um, so this steel protects it and that and it helps the line withstand high burst pressure and have a low coefficient of expansion cool okay so the inner hose the ptfe inner tubing is resistant to acid remember hey it's resistant to acid uh, corrosion resistant to weathering 
has a low coefficient of friction, so I guess the coolant will flow better, and can withstand a wider temperature range. Okay, so all great reasons that made this kit sound and look um, like a good thing to get, a nice upgrade to help keeping the motor cool, maybe performing better, but definitely keeping the turbocharger and the motor cooler. Um, so, I got it. And uh, when I got the kit, um, lo and behold, the banjo bolts, uh, like so, which remember this again would go through the hose, just to show you one more time, banjo bolt goes through the hose like that. There's a copper brass washer, copper or brass on either side to make a seal, and that would secure the line to the turbocharger, which it still does on the braided steel lines. But I get the kit and I try and thread the banjo bolts into the spots where they thread in on the turbocharger and they don't fit, they're too big. Um, which, you know, <laughs> kind of made me upset, made me feel like, oh, this was a, a scam or a ripoff. Um, they didn't sell what they posted. It was supposed to be compatible with a turbocharged PT Cruiser uh, and it doesn't fit. So what did I do? Um, you drill and tap, that's what I did. I drilled it and tapped it. You're gonna see this in the video. Um, I didn't check to make sure what I ordered was supposed to fit my exact model of turbocharger. I just dove right in and placed the order based on the brief description in the title and the picture. I took a drill to my turbocharger it pains me to say it, but yes, I did because I really wanted to have this upgrade kit in lines and um, I had recently done some drilling and tapping, so I felt like I was a good driller and a tapper. Uh, and I drilled out the turbocharger. Um, after, first I took the new banjo bolts, right? Those were the issue. I took them, I tried to find the correct um, die. Right, I this isn't the right one, but you know, I went through my kit and I was threading it in until I found the one that I was like, okay, that's got to be the right uh, uh, thread and size for these new bolts. So I then follow the chart that you follow for when you're drilling out, doing tap and die. It's a chart that looks like this. This is from the kit that I got, which is a gear wrench kit. And it tells you how big of a hole you have to drill, what drill bit size um, to do a certain thread that you would then tap it with. And, you know, just in case you haven't ever done drilling and tapping, this would be tap it with. Very um, hard, hard metal that once you've drilled the hole with a drill, you use this type of bit turn it a bit by hand to create the threads in the hole. So that's what I did to my poor turbo. Took those new banjo bolts, tried to thread them in there, and the holes were too big. And the banjo bolt just went in and out. Uh, didn't thread in at all. The other thing that I did not do was check the threads. And if you have a proper tap and die kit, you actually get a, a little tool like this with a bunch of different um, teeth. It's, it's kind of like a feeler gauge, sort of, but it's, it's for finding the correct thread for whatever the hole is you're trying to do. So you would take this tool and keep, you know, selecting the right, uh, or keep going through the um, a bunch of little thread pieces until you find the one that matches up like you put it on the side of your of your uh, bolt and you find the one that matches and then these are labeled with the proper size so then you would know what size and thread the bolt is I did not measure the threads 
properly with that tool like I should have. I just tried to eyeball it and go by feel, see if I could put that banjo bolt into one of the dies until, uh, until it seemed like it fit. Big mistake, don't do that. Uh, because some of them seem like they work and that they'll fit and lo and behold, like I find out, after I drilled it, it was wrong. And the hole I drilled and the threads I did were too big and the wrong thread.
what to do now that I've drilled out my turbocharger and none of the banjo bolts that I have fit. Um, nothing works. I felt like it was a lost cause. Um, so I needed to find, if it was out there, a fitting, an adapter that would thread into the holes that I drilled it out, that I drilled out on the turbocharger, but that I could then also drill in tap with the proper thread for the new banjo bolts. Okay? And luckily I did. I found one, or my brother did, and uh, we ordered it, okay? That's this guy. And you'll see me threading these, uh, actually tapping them, putting in the thread for the new banjo bolt, and, and installing them on to the turbocharger. So I had to find this fitting that had the right uh, thread that I tapped into the turbocharger, right? So that I could screw that in. But then I had to, to drill and tap the inside of that to a smaller thread and a different thread that fit the new banjo bolts that had the new braided steel lines that I wanted to use. After about a week of searching and ordering, got the right parts, um, was so lucky in many respects that it worked that I found the ones that would um, thread in and they had to fit. That was the other problem is, you know, as you can see, there's not a lot of space, you know, in these two threaded holes. These are for the coolant, the uh, antifreeze coolant that flows to the turbocharger. And two of these new fittings, these adapters side by side, there would have been a good chance it wouldn't fit. But um, you'll see in the video as I'm tightening these down, man, it was close. But enough talk about it. Let me show you what the end result was. I'll do my best to, to show you where I actually had to tap uh, and add these new things. But here are the braided lines that got installed. Okay, This is the coolant return line coming off of one of the, the holes that I tapped back here on the turbocharger. Um, you can also see the other lines kind of down back in there. There's the oil feed one and then the other coolant one. Um, let's see if we can get back there. In the back here, like this is the top of one of those lines that goes to one of the banjo bolts that I had to install. Okay. Um, you'll get a much better view of, of me getting that installed. So, seems like I solved <laughs> what I broke. I fixed the situation I created. As long as they don't leak. That's what I'm worried about. Haven't ran the car yet. And, you know, this... I hope I didn't hurt the turbocharger by drilling it and tapping it. And I hope that all of the washers and everything that I put together doesn't leak. Because that would really suck.
And here's the kicker of the whole story. <laughs> when I finally did take some time to go back online and look at my order to see what I ordered, uh, you know, my thinking was I was going to confirm that I ordered something that should have worked and what they sent me didn't. What I found out was that I ordered the wrong kit for a different turbocharger um, because I rushed it. You know, I was, I was anxious to just get the order placed um, and I didn't look closely enough to see that there are multiple kits that you can get of these braided lines. There is indeed a kit that fits the turbocharger as it was originally, you know, the TDL04 PT Cruiser turbocharger. Um, I didn't order that. I ordered one for uh, something like a GT. Uh, it's a different model turbocharger that maybe came on other later models of PT Cruisers, uh, or it's just an aftermarket upgrade you can get. Slightly larger turbocharger. Um, and that's the lines that I ordered, and that's where this all started. So, once again, the moral of the story is slow down, have patience, make sure you're ordering the right thing in the first place. That's lesson number one. Lesson number two is if, if uh, be, before you go urging in and diving in and doing something like drilling, uh, drilling out your parts, uh, make sure you need to, you know, and, and if you do, do it properly. Um, me, you know, you've heard the saying, measure twice, cut once. It's kind of that idea, but I'd say measure five times so that you only, <laughs> so that you do it right. And, you know, if your tap and die kit has a tool to help you identify the thread, use the tool. Don't try and guess and, you know, think you got it just by, th you know, oh, I think it threads into this, this die. No good. Do it right. And then just know your tools fully, you know, um, understand how they work and why every component is in a toolkit and what its purpose is, uh, because it <laughs> helps you do it right. It'll make it easier in the long run if you understand it. Like if I had used those little tools from the get go, I would have drilled and tapped the, the proper size. Had I looked at the order online closely and been patient, would order the right kit and not had to drill and tap anything to begin with. So that is the big uh, moral of the story. Thanks for watching.